Hey everyone, today I've got a really exciting video for you and I'm going to show you how Assetto Corsa is helping build and design a real prototype sports car and it really is incredible stuff but before we go there let's take a look at where we are. So we're in Anglesey in Wales and this is of course by Tyrone, I will put the link in the description and there's a reason we're here and that's to look at this car, this awesome new prototype sports car. This is the Radnor Drake. Now quite rightly so, you're probably saying to yourself, I have never heard of this car, I've never seen it on a set of Corsa before, what's it doing here? Well, this car is actually being designed from the ground up using all the latest automotive technology and then being tested on a set of Corsa before being built for the first time. There's an amazing video that Petrol Ped has got on with the developers, but let's take a quick look at them. Automotive is in my blood. I've always been motivated by technology in the future, being able to apply intelligent solutions to the most complex of problems. The speed of development in powertrain technology is breathtaking. We are designing electrical architecture solutions which provide performance, range, efficiency and safety. Our mission at Radnor Automotive is to design solutions which focus on weight saving. We are inspired by iconic performance cars of the past, which weren't defined by power, but were defined by handling and fun. So we've created Radnor Automotive, an engineering consultancy focusing on solving these technological challenges with lightness at the core of everything. We are here to support manufacturers and R&D departments developing advanced engineering solutions for the next generation of automotive technologies. As a channel, I'm really proud to say that Surspats Gaming will be following the progress with Nico and Will and they will be taking me through step by step so I can show you the transition from this car from an Assetto Corsa model to full reality in 12 months. So you're probably thinking, well, why is this any different from what normally happens? Well, I've got a really good example here for you. So this is the 2015 Audi S1. We've all driven it in Assetto Corsa and normally what happens is a car is built in real life from a concept to manufacture and sold to the public. Then that car will be modded into a set of Corsa. And as you can see here, we can see exactly the same car in a set of Corsa. And we've all driven this and enjoyed it. And this was obviously put in by Kunos. We've just seen the credentials of Radnor and Will and Nico. And what they have done is they have already built this car in Katia V5, every nut and bolt. That's auto industry standard software. And then they have ported that through to a set of Corsa. That's taken a lot of time and effort and I had a really good chat with Will recently and I'm going to show you in more detail how that actually happens. Those videos will be released in the future and I will show you how this car is going to go from an Assetto Corsa model, a very detailed model, into a real life sports car for the road that's going to be built and it's going to be in production over the next 12 months. Of course, one of the key parts to this as well is that Radnor are aiming to provide driving enthusiasts with the product they need respecting the skill and enjoyment of guiding a great car down a great road but remove all the negative association of needing fossil fuels to do it with. So let's take a look at this gorgeous car in a set of course that's going to be built in real life and go through some of the tech details. So the engine is originally from a helicopter if you can believe that. It was then evolved into a racing motorbike engine before now being turned into a car engine. It's a rotary engine so it's extremely small the size of a shoebox. It's extremely light only weighing 24 kilograms and very high revving. This revs to 10,000 rpm. It's extremely powerful for its size 220 brake horse power but also being a rotary it's really good at coping with different fuels that's bioethanol and even hydrogen the key to the powertrain though is the electric side of things so that will be used to provide low down torque and amplify what the engine is being asked to do this gives the ability to have a huge range of driving modes and optimize all aspects of the car work together that is going to give you the maximum drivability as well as some really good fuel efficiency there is also some great technology that you will already know about this in this car. So for instance, the chassis technology is an evolution of how the Mark 1 Elise was built and that's bonded aluminium and composites. That's maximum strength for the lowest weight. 
The exciting thing about the Radnor Drake though is that the supply chain is already established and they are ready to start building this car. They plan to eventually sell about 450 cars a year through a manufacturing distribution network but predominantly that will be from their headquarters in Mid Wales and Anglesey is going to be one of the tracks that they will be testing this car on in real life and I will be showing you that in the future. As we look at this incredible performance on the car as it drives around Imola, let's take a look at what it's going to retail for. The retail price is going to be around £100,000 and that is going to provide customers not only the car but whatever renewable energy infrastructure they need to support the car and their domestic energy usage. So as I said earlier, I'm going to be working with Radnor over the next 12 months to see and track this car being actually on the road. This will include tech videos on how they've taken this car out of the automotive CAD environment and into a set of Corsa and then how they plan to take it into the manufacturing world and produce the first car. Let's take a better look at the Radnor Drake around Imola then. I think we will agree that we are all complete petrol heads and that's why we drive the cars in a set of Corsa because it gives you the ability to drive amazing cars anywhere in the world and that's personally why I love a set of Corsa. The Radnor Drake for me is a very beautiful car. I love the artistry and the engineering that I can see in the mod and very excited to see this in real life. It's amazing that a set of Corsa is going to be a platform to actually build this car in reality. I can't remember anywhere where I've seen that actually happening. Some of you may be asking then how do I get more involved with Radnor Automotive and how do I find out more information? Well Radnor are actually looking for people to jump onto this journey with them and there's some amazing investment opportunities that you can get involved in as well as speaking to them and getting more information about how this car is going to become a reality. So thank you so much for watching guys. Do remember to check out the rest of the channel for lots more sim racing and a set of Corsa and I'll see you all very soon.